Good afternoon. My name is William Minnick. I just recently had ran for mayor. I was able to get to the petition signed, managed to get on the ballot. I was eventually defeated in the primaries. It was a learning experience. I did not have a lot of funding involved in my campaigning. But it was a lesson worth learning about and it was a challenge I was willing to take on. During my interviews, I expressed some of the biggest problems I felt that was wrong with the city in person. Our veterans were not getting the proper care they need. They need a hospital in this city. Bakersfield has a lot of buildings that are not being used, are not occupied. Why not use one of those buildings to help our veterans to get themselves a clinical, a bigger clinic, or even a hospital? Two. Our crime rate has rapidly grown. We may look at it statistically speaking that the crime rate has gone down. But it's not really showing it in person. You walk out there in the streets today, there are crimes happening in a neighborhood that 20 years ago you would never have thought of these crimes would occur. Three, our jobs. Now, According to statistic speaking nationwide, our jobs have improved. And I would say, how? How have they improved? People have to hold two jobs to get by to pay their bills. That's unacceptable. A man or woman should work eight hours a day. Either combined income or just one of them. To be able to pay for the bills of mortgage, rent, insurance, medical, food, electricity. The problem is we've been living in a blinded fact. We are blinded. This is not good. This is a serious issue we have to take in full consideration. Our men and women that work in our community today, on a daily basis, are not getting the help they need. We need more help. We need people to have jobs. We need people to have affordable health care. And you're talking about everything that's going on just in the local community. Look at our state. Our state has major budget problems. Granted, we passed the marijuana recreation deal back in the November ballot. That's still not going to keep us all out of all of our debt. We've had our water issues, of course, with the lack of rain. We've been getting improved rain, of course, but that doesn't mean all of our water issues are going to be resolved. Our farming needs that water resource. How do we get it? Well, let's get all the natural knowledge people with scientific knowledge and find a way to help bring in water to our farming and our agriculture and let's get things going. We talked in the debate last year about fossil fuels. You know what? I understand the ozone is very important. I understand too we have technology today that will not affect our ozone as much as it would have done about 10 or 20 years ago. We have the capability to create fossil fuel jobs to give us time so that our green energy jobs can start making a bigger factor. There's an old say, start with one plan to help build to another. We have to build one by one to get people back to work. You have people in unemployment who made a large amount of money in the oil field refinery. But guess what? The oil fields went down they lost their jobs and they're having a hard time making men's meat to pay for what they had inherited when they were working in the oil field company. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. I have done serious considerations of running for another office. It may not be an overvalued look of like saying, oh, here you are on a YouTube video. William Minnick is in serious consideration of running for office again. And I'm not going to be playing no 
fairly low budgeted politician. I'm going to play as a man that means business. I am looking at this state and I see the failures, I see the attempts not even being attempted, and needs to be fixed. Do I think I have all the answers? No. That's why it's called bringing it to the table and bringing out suggestions and hearing from the public. I am one man, I don't have all the answers, but I am one man that will stand up for this state. I am one man that believes that there should be job growth. I am a man that believes that we can find a way to deal with our immigration problem that we have today. I am a man that believes there's always hope if we really push to make it happen. I am not a puppet. I went, in that, I went into that, that mayoral forum a little lost. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a puppet. I want things to work. I want unification. I want to bring our community together. Because without coming together, we will be failed. We will fail one another. I understand this video does not describe everything that's going to be useful and helpful, but it's a start. You crawl, you walk, you run. And as we say in the military, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. We are slow right now, but we will make it smooth. And when we make it smooth, we will make it fast. And it will work. I am one man, as I say. One man. But I am one man willing to stand up for this entire state so that we can get the respect that we deserve. I want to thank you for the time. I'd like to say to all the families and friends and people in the state of California, I will get back with you on my answer on where I stand when I decide to run for office and I will guarantee you I'm going to like take suggestions by all means I'm open to suggestions tell me what I can improve on tell me what I need like I say I'm not a puppet but I'm not a man to refuse suggestions I'm a man that wants to do things good for a state that really needs it really needs help. Thank you, and God bless you.